Hey, what's happening everybody? Thought I'd just shoot a quick video overview and uh, kind of summarizing my whole uh, Arduino reef controller build. Now, if you've seen my past videos, you know I'm using this to control my LEDs, the dimming, the sunrise, sunset. And the good news for you all out there is that I did incorporate the sunrise, sunset in with my original sketch. Uh, only problem now is I need kind of an override button so I can override or stop the sunrise sunset program if say I want to just turn the lights on or off or adjust them in any way uh, it it's not overriding that system right now so I need to put a default in there but that's no big deal uh, this is more than just an LED controller, or it's going to be, and this video is kind of to set up the videos to come so everybody kind of knows what my plan and objectives are for this controller. Um, as you can see right now, or maybe not see, because in order to get the screen I had to turn down the lights in here, uh, this is the LED hood everything is going to be contained within this hood and it's kind of spaghetti mess right now because I'm still prototyping and I don't want to put it in a permanent position and then find out oh shit I need to squeeze this in or this wires too short now or something along those lines so that'll all get cleaned up and you'll probably see that cleaned up in a future video but everything is going to be contained in this hood the hood will have a cover and uh, it starts off on the left or on the right here rather this is the uh, power supply unit it's a 24 volt uh, 400 watt it pumps out 16 amps and that's going to control everything or power everything that I need powered by DC the LEDs the Arduino itself uh, dosing pumps etc etc anything that's going to need DC power it's all going to come from this unit uh, the Arduino itself is going to be placed in the center section of the hood here and then in the left side is going to be miscellaneous circuits. Uh, I'm going to need a relay, 8 channel relay to control my outlets. I'm going to need uh, voltage step downs because I'm going to need to step down to 12 volts and step down to 5 volts to power some things without blowing them up. So that will all go in this area and then, and then the whole thing itself will be in my hood so basically all I've gotten done is running through the touch screens uh, this is going to be the home screen uh, the screen that's going to be on the majority of the time or the first screen that pops up if I decide to put a screensaver in every channel is going to show me the current time when I started building this thing I uh, said well if I can't get anything to work at least I'll know what time it is so that's working and that's working perfectly and you'll see the clock on almost every screen uh, another thing on the home screen it's going to always read out my current temperature and it's always going to read out my current pH obviously those aren't set up yet um, it, when my temperature reads out and you touch the the temperature it'll move it to a screen where I'm going to have a uh, temperature versus time graph it'll graph it so it'll give me a readout of where my temperature is as well as showing me the temperature of the tank temperature of both heat sinks and the temperature in the sump ambient temperature in the sump so I'll have four temperature sensors all relaying into this and then graph it out this is just kind of a temporary screen just so I had something and then we'll go back to home kind of hard to, to do one-handed here. The pH screen is similar uh, when you when you touch that one it'll go to the pH this is a pH versus time it'll graph the pH as well as show me current P, pH readings but the home screen is gonna show up-to-date current pH and temperature readings all the time so I can just look at it at a glance then to get to the main menu I'm hitting uh, just hit the, the angel and let's see can I pull out this is going to be the main menu and on the main menu I have my LED control 
this will get me to that temperature screen we just saw this icon will get me to the pH screen we just saw this will be the ORP if I decide to set that up uh, that'll be the button to get me there the button to return home and the setting screen the setting screen is going to be most important because that's going to be my uh, where everything is to turn on and off uh, that's going to control my outlet box I'm going to have two uh, pumps I was going to get Vortec MP10s I'm in love with those I really really want them but with this build I'll be able to mimic the same wave patterns with two cheaper pumps uh, in the tank and uh, I'm going to give that a shot for a while I'll eventually probably get the Vortec MP10s but that's you know super pricey super pricey and if I can get away with writing a program for this that's what I'm gonna do so the setting screen is where I'm gonna you're gonna find that you're gonna be able to change the wave patterns you're gonna be able to turn pumps on and off you're gonna, the sump light on and off uh, as well as a calendar to set reminders you know change uh, do pump maintenance today or those types of things so it'll set me uh, maintenance reminders and, and that type of thing so what I've been working on where I'm at in the build as you've all seen is in the LED screens so we get to the LED screens and in the LED it's gonna show me current weather I'm gonna have weather patterns so it's gonna be I'm gonna have passing cloud simulations and lightning storm simulations it'll tell this is just the kind of a readout telling you what is what at the moment it really doesn't do anything so if it's passing clouds or partly cloudy it's going to tell me here and then it's going to have a little picture of clouds or if it's a thunderstorm it's going to have the lightning here my lunar phase will show me a picture of where i'm at in the lunar phase as well as list the lunar phase here right now it's just defaulted to uh waxing gibbons then i'm going to have a coral acclimation mode uh, when i engage the coral acclimation mode it's going to lower the overall percentage of lighting 35 percent and then it's going to climb up one percent every day for 35 days so i'm not sure if i'm going to need that just yet because i've also seen a par meter build so it's also going to have a par meter it's probably not going to give me 100 percent accurate results but it's going to give me close enough results to where i can use the par meter and see what corals are thriving thriving at what par levels so even if it's not 100 percent accurate it's going to give me accurate accurate or close enough results to where i'll be able to see what's happening see what the the par level is there and then move corals accordingly uh, this is the side I've been working on most lately uh, We'll hit here and that'll bring me to my individual screen for each channel the white channel the royal blue the blue and the ultraviolet I can change these uh, Values by using my up and down arrow keys. I've mentioned that previously and then uh, I always have to hit enter I don't really like that. I like to just set it and then move to the next one and then hit enter the to escape but I have this set in so where my my uh, sunrise sunset program will accept these values as the maximum value in the sunrise sunset and ramp up to those values the issue I'm having right now is if uh, I want to just bypass the sunrise sunset and have the tank lights on or just all purple or just all blue at that particular moment it's just not happening for me so we're gonna head back to the menu screen so I just wanted to show you as you can see it's going to be more than just the LED controller it's gonna be everything it's gonna control my auto water top off which is going to be pre pressure sensitive uh, it's gonna be highly accurate and I'll never have to worry about it getting stuck uh, definitely going to have fail safes also going to have flood detection eventually it will also be hooked up to my phone or my iPad and I'll be able to control it from there uh, I will be putting Wi-Fi in this uh, just simply because it's a pain in 
the the took us to to upload and to 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 do everything when it's sitting on top of the tank so if I can go wireless and upload it simply uh, without any wires it'd be great so big dreams for this whole program if anybody's got any suggestions on what I should add to this please let me know because uh, the the possibilities are limitless so it's gonna be my whole aquarium controller and uh, I just wanted to kind of set this up because when I do a playlist and put every start putting things together and organizing uh, I'm gonna need some type of point of reference for everybody uh, so they know where I've started and know where I'm at at that current time so have a good one everybody I'm off to play with this a little bit more uh, luxurious day off here in Chicago and it's raining so kids will stay inside I'll stay inside and uh, just play with this for a while comment rate subscribe and then again let me know what I should add to this there's a lot of things I can do with this uh, processor and uh, I I'm shooting for the sky's the limit I'm gonna have it do everything for me who would so have a good one